Welcome to the hidden world of insects. Most people see them as creepy crawlies but beneath our feet and in the air, insects live out epic dramas, royal battles, survival struggles and feats of adaptation. Today we'll uncover the secrets of queen bees, meet flesh-eating caterpillars and encounter giants of the insect world. Prepare to be amazed and maybe a little unsettled. From duels for the throne to cosmic confusion and zero gravity, this is a world more complex than you ever imagined. Let's dive in and explore the secret life of insects together. Think insects are just pests, think again. Deep inside a honeybee hive a hidden world pulses with life and tension. Here every bee has a role but only one can wear the crown. The path to the throne is paved with violence, ambition and ancient instinct. The hive is a place of order, but when a queen's reign ends, chaos erupts. When a new queen is needed, several larvae are chosen and fed royal jelly, a rare nutrient-rich substance. This magical food transforms ordinary larvae into royal contenders, each destined to become a queen if she survives. The first queen to emerge wastes no time. She hunts down her rivals, still trapped in their waxy cells, and kills them with her smooth curved stinger, a weapon built for precision and death. If two queens emerge at once, the hive transforms into an arena. The air crackles with tension as the sisters face off in a deadly duel for supremacy. Worker bees form a living amphitheater encircling the combatants. They watch, motionless, as the queens grapple and sting, their fate hanging in the balance. Unlike workers, a queen stinger is not barbed. She can strike again and again her weapon designed for assassination, not defense. The victor stands alone, her right to rule sealed by blood in battle. She becomes the sole monarch, commanding the loyalty of the hive. She embarks on her nuptial flight, soaring into the sky to mate. Returning triumphant, she begins her life's work, laying thousands of eggs ensuring the hive's future. This brutal succession ensures only the strongest, most capable queen leads. It is nature's way of guaranteeing the colony's survival. Though the process may seem cruel, it is a system honed by evolution, a relentless test that leaves no room for weakness. The war for the crown is over. The reign begins. The hive unites under its new queen, ready to thrive once more. In the hive power is not inherited, it is earned in combat through courage and strength. Only one can rule and her legacy is written in the lives of thousands. Each new bee is a testament to her victory. The hive thrives under the shadow of this ruthless ritual, its future secured by the queen who fought hardest to claim her crown. In 2011, two golden orb-weaving spiders, Gladys and Esmeralda, embarked on an extraordinary journey to the International Space Station, becoming some of the first arachnids to experience life beyond Earth's gravity. On Earth, their webs are marvels of engineering, delicate, symmetrical and perfectly adapted to the pull of gravity. Each strand is placed with precision creating a structure that's both beautiful and functional. But in the weightlessness of space, chaos reigned. Without gravity to guide them their silk drifted aimlessly and their first attempts at web building resulted in tangled floating messes that seemed to defy all their instincts. Disoriented and confused the spiders floated through their enclosure unable to anchor themselves or their webs. Their instincts honed over millions of years suddenly seemed useless in this alien environment, but life adapts even in the most unexpected ways. After days of confusion the spiders began to use the station's lamps as a makeshift sun, orienting themselves toward the light. This new strategy allowed them to launch themselves and spin more ordered, three-dimensional webs, unlike anything seen on Earth. Their silk became more uniform, and their construction more creative, as they learned to navigate the strange, floating world around them. Yet, hunting was a struggle. Prey floated unpredictably, and the spider's usual tactics, so effective on Earth, often failed in the absence of gravity's steady pull. Esmeralda didn't survive the ordeal, but Gladys persisted, spinning her strange orbital webs in solitude. Her determination was a quiet testament to the will to adapt, even when everything familiar is stripped away. Their story is a lesson. Instincts can bend, but not always break, when the world changes. The spider's journey is a reminder of how life can be both fragile and astonishingly resilient. The experiment revealed both the adaptability and the limits of life, showing us how creatures respond to the most radical changes in their environment. Even in space, the bond between creature and home is powerful, shaping behavior in ways we're only beginning to understand. The spider's tangled webs are a testament to survival in a bewildering universe, a symbol of persistence in the face of the unknown. We can take animals out of their world but not the world out of them. 
Their instincts remain even as they're forced to improvise. In the end, the arachnauts showed us the resilience and fragility of life and the remarkable ways living things can adapt, even when the rules of their world are rewritten. Their journey was a small, eight-legged leap into the unknown, a story of courage and adaptation on a cosmic scale. Even in orbit, nature's rules are never fully left behind and the spirit of survival endures no matter how far from home. Australia, a land where insects reach astonishing sizes. Meet the giant burrowing cockroach, the world's heaviest living underground and raising its young in complex burrows. The goliath stick insect, stretching up to half a meter, vanishes among eucalyptus branches. The Hercules moth, with a wingspan over 10 inches, lives only days, its sole purpose to mate. In the water lurks the giant water bug, a fierce predator with a painful bite. And the huntsman spider, with legs spanning six inches, is both feared and valued as a household exterminator. These giants are products of Australia's unique evolution, abundant food, warm climates, and isolation. They're not just big, they're specialists, each with a survival story. From cockroaches to moths, these insects challenge our ideas of what an insect can be. Their size is a testament to adaptability and diversity. In Australia, insects aren't background, they're stars of the evolutionary stage. Here the world of the small becomes truly gigantic. Evolution's creativity knows no bounds. Every female bee larva could become a queen, but only a few are chosen. All larvae start on royal jelly, but most are switched to bee bread after three days, sealing their fate as workers. The chosen few, fed only royal jelly, undergo a dramatic transformation. They grow larger, develop massive ovaries and lose the tools needed for work. Their brains change, built for ruling, not foraging. Their mandibles strengthen, designed for eliminating rivals. The process is final, a worker can never become a queen, and vice versa. The colony's survival depends on this precise nutritional manipulation. Workers create their own ruler by controlling her diet. When she emerges, she's a monarch forged for power and dominance. The making of a queen is a calculated act of biological engineering, it's nurturing and cruel, a system that sacrifices individuality for the colony's good. In the hive, destiny is decided by what you eat. The queen bee's sting is a weapon of power. Unlike the worker's barbed stinger, hers is smooth and curved, she can sting repeatedly without dying. This makes her the perfect assassin in the hive's royal battles. Her venom, similar to a worker's, is reserved almost exclusively for killing rival queens. Beekeepers rarely get stung by a queen, her sting is for enforcing hierarchy not defense. When she strikes the venom paralyzes and kills her opponent swiftly. Her sting is both weapon and symbol, marking her as the true queen. It's essential for the hive's stability. A queen who can't kill is a queen in crisis. The queen's sting is the final word in succession. It's a scalpel, a dagger, and a scepter, ensuring only one can rule. Its danger isn't to us, but to any challenger within the hive. In the world of bees, power is enforced with precision and deadly efficiency. The queen's blade carves out her destiny. Among insect stings, one reigns supreme, the bullet ant. This tiny creature, barely an inch long, is responsible for the most excruciating pain known in the insect world. Found in the humid rainforests of Central and South America, its sting is legendary for its pain, described as like walking over flaming charcoal with a nail in your heel. The sensation is so intense it can bring even the toughest explorers to their knees. The agony can last a full 24 hours, caused by a potent neurotoxin that overloads the nervous system and sends shockwaves of pain through the body. Victims experience paralysis, tremors, and relentless, blinding pain. Swelling and redness spread quickly, and the affected limb can become almost unusable for hours. For the Satera Ma people, enduring bullet ant stings is a rite of passage. Gloves filled with angry ants test young warriors' endurance. The ritual is repeated many times, forging resilience and courage through suffering. The pain is a powerful deterrent. Predators learn to avoid the bullet ant after just one encounter remembering the lesson for life. Its sting is not for hunting or politics, but pure defense, a shield of agony that protects the colony from threats. The bullet ant commands respect through suffering, its reputation echoing through the jungle. Even the smallest creatures can wield immense power, shaping the behavior of animals much larger than themselves. In the rainforest, pain is a language, 
and the bullet ant speaks it fluently, sending a clear message to all who cross its path. Its sting is a lesson no predator forgets, a memory etched in pain and caution. The ultimate defense, it ensures survival in a world of danger, where only the most resilient endure. The bullet ant's agony is nature's warning, broadcast in pain, a signal that echoes through the rainforest. In the insect world, respect is earned through suffering, and the bullet ant stands as a true champion of survival. In Hawaii, some caterpillars have evolved into flesh eaters. These Eupithecia larvae are ambush predators camouflaged as twigs, waiting for unsuspecting insects. When prey approaches, they strike with lightning speed, grabbing victims with claw-like legs. They devour their catch alive, using mandibles meant for leaves. This isn't opportunism, it's their way of life. Hawaii's isolation, lacking major insect predators, created a unique evolutionary niche. Over generations these caterpillars shifted from plants to prey. On the mainland they'd be outcompeted, but in Hawaii they became dedicated hunters. It's a stunning example of evolution's creativity, herbivores turned carnivores. These caterpillars are living paradoxes, gentle moths, monstrous youth. They remind us that nature's roles are never fixed. Even in paradise, survival can take a dark turn. Evolution always finds a way. Our journey into the secret life of insects ends here. We've seen royal assassins, failed astronauts, gentle giants, and flesh-eating caterpillars. Insects are masters of adaptation, survival, and surprise. Next time you see a bee or a spider, remember the hidden dramas beneath the surface? The insect world is a constant overlooked marvel. What surprised you most? Share your favorite weird insect fact below. Thanks for watching. There's always more to discover in nature's hidden kingdom.